Hey, what's going on guys? Joe at OMGRC.com. So today we have the WL Toys 12428. This was sent to us from Banggood, so we definitely appreciate that one. We'll put all the affiliate links in the description below. If any promo codes, we'll go ahead and uh, put those in there as well for you for extra savings. That does come with a USB charger, so that's nice on that part of it. You do get some extra, or you get some tools with it, so that's nice, you can kind of get wrenching on your vehicle if necessary. I did take some screws out so I could show you underneath the actual body of this. Uh, the instruction manual, very nice on that one. So in case you need to work on it, if you know, tearing stuff apart, trying to figure out how things go back together. This is for ages 14 and older. So that is that. Now when it comes to the radio itself, it does have a foam grip that's on it, which I don't mind it. And you know, it's nothing fancy. There's no like really reverse settings or anything like that. It's pretty basic, but you got your on and off switch. And the, the one, two, three switch, really don't know anything about that one. I don't think it's gonna work for this vehicle anyhow. And you do have the little trim settings on it. And it just takes four AA batteries at the bottom. So not bad at all. The vehicle itself, I did put the batteries in it. They're charged up. And I do have four AA's in this radio. So we can go ahead and take a look at the LEDs on it. So I'll turn on the radio first. Then there is a switch on the bottom. Do you have that little metal skid plate on it as well? It's so pretty nice. Just wanna kinda show you now these lights will flash and once I move the steering wheel, everything's good. So yeah, these things are pretty bright on here too. You can see as far as uh, those uh, universal drives that are in there, steel. So that's nice on that one. The plastic actually doesn't feel bad. It's not like brittle feeling. Uh, so it looks like it'll take quite a bit of abuse to be honest with you. Now getting over, just taking a side look at this thing here too. And um, got the solid rear axle in the back. Now I will say the tire compound on this thing is a little bit to the medium to hard side of it. So they're not really soft at all. Now the battery that comes in, it's just a, there you go. So lithium ion battery, 1500 milliamps. Go ahead and open this thing up so you can see everything. I'll tell you how those, how that comes open or what screws. But anyway, 540 motor that's in it. Here are those shocks. I don't, these shocks, I do not believe they have any kind of rubber seals, so they will not hold oil. So basically at this point, a friction shock. So uh, the two-in-one electronic speed controller, then it does have a micro servo. So again, this is just a 1 12th scale. You got some little weights that are in there also. Uh, this is your little battery strap for it. You just slide that over top of it and then put your little body clip in there to hold it down. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna do a speed run with this thing, see how fast it goes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do another speed run with these tires, because I like these tires. So I'm gonna stick those on there. Hopefully I'll have enough clearance to turn, but I, it kind of felt like it would be okay. Uh, there's enough clearance there for a little bit extra tire. So I'm gonna go ahead, we'll do that, do the speed runs, see how fast this thing goes, bone stock, put some other tires on it, see how fast it goes with those tires, and then maybe I'll try this other battery as well just to see if it gives us any more top end speed so anyway let's go ahead and see how fast this thing goes all right stock battery gps strapped in zeroed out let's go ahead and take it for its first run all right so 21 miles an hour. It does have a different battery that's a 1500 milliamp. It has a 45C discharge. It's still a 2S LiPo. Let's see if it makes any difference as far as top end. All right, 23 miles an hour. So a little bit different battery in there made it a little bit better. So the other one was a lithium ion. This one's a lithium polymer. So definitely a little bit more discharge on that. So 23, so eh, two miles an hour difference. Obviously, okay. different tires on there. I think they look cool. Unfortunately, it does rub right on the steering linkage there. So I need to put a little bit, of, maybe a couple of washers to space it out just a little bit. Yep, 23 miles an hour. Uh, 
I did lose one of the little light covers on there, so kind of like, oh man. But so I what I'll probably end up doing is taking some of the little covers. I'll take the covers off of this one and put it on there, and then these will be exposed or something like that. I did put a washer on both sides because it wouldn't go any faster with these tires, which it should go at least a mile an hour faster, I would kind of guess. Or it's right at the, at the tipping of, you know, going from 23 to 24, but with that little bit of rubbing on the turnbuckle, yeah, it's gonna slow it down on that top speed. But I definitely appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends, and uh, check us out at omgrc.com. We'll catch you on the next video. You guys take care. Thank you again for watching.